Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So today we are talking about the cons of having warmer coloured hair. Mm. So this is my natural colour. However, in the summer or in the warmer weather with the sun, it gets really, really warm. Now, of course, because of the coronavirus pandemic, I haven't been able to get the top of my hair cut for quite some time. So my hair length is gradually got a bit lighter and it's really, really been bugging me. It's really been annoying me. So when this happens, what do I tend to do? I usually have quite a bit of my hair cut off. So my hair now is bottom lip. It's around about that kind of length. So it's really kind of long. As you can see, I've got a lot of sort of style going on today. As you can see, it looks still really dark. It is still dark. But then I've got this warmth throughout my hair, which becomes really light. And when I say warmth, almost like the coppery sort of tone. Where does that come from? So my father has real dark dark hair but you can tell there's a bit of an auburn tone in there um, and whenever the sun shines on my hair you can see in the summer that very very slightly there's a bit of warmth in there but it's not gingery or it's not brassy or anything it's just like a gold tone which sometimes can be quite nice because it goes to a really really nice light brown but sometimes in this country, I don't know what the difference is, whenever I'm on holiday, it goes really, really nice light colour. Really nice as though you've paid a lot of money to have it done that way. And the front of my hair here actually almost goes white, um, which is really quite nice look. However, here in this country, you can probably hear outside, it's absolutely hammering it down with rain now. But here in the UK, whenever I've been out in the garden or I've been in the sun for quite a lot, which not the past week, but in the previous weeks to that, we've had some incredibly hot weather. Since we've gone into June, it seems as though that that's just absolutely been a write-off, like it is always in every summer, <laughs> unfortunately. But every time the sun seems to touch my hair in this country, it seems to gradually go warm. So what I do in the summer months is have my hair cut a lot shorter, or I have that warmth kind of cut out of my hair. But because, of course, I haven't been able to get to any barbers or the actual the, the normal lady who cuts my hair, I am just having to put up with it. So what do I tend to do to get around this? So for example, I always use products which make my hair look a bit wetter because what that does is that makes my hair appear a lot darker. I find if I'm using a blow dryer, it makes my hair, as you can see just here, it makes my hair appear a lot finer and a lot more as though the light shines through it. And I know, for example, that we are told, and you can read all over online, uh, on the internet, everywhere you look, when you've got finer texture hair, always to go lighter. Um, but for me, darker hair, I would always find, because what that does is it catches every single hair. It's darker. The light doesn't seem to penetrate through it, which is what you want. You don't want the light to penetrate through your hair when you've got finer textured hair. Um, I've gone for a real volumous style today, so a lot of volume in here, and there's a lot of product. But as you can just see, which is really, really annoying me, I've got quite a warm light in this room. And as you can see, it's really, really like a dark gold colour. Then if I come in the light, this is my natural colour. A real kind of like ashy kind of tone. But this has been happening in the last couple of weeks and it wasn't until I recently just in my recent clip where on the main picture on the front, this was my review for my three month uh, milestone in Viviscal, I was looking and I thought that the light really made my hair look really quite warm. But then actually in the past couple of days I've been looking at my hair and I've been thinking, John, this is really, really annoying me. So much so that I may actually have to do something about it because I'm actually sort of exploring with having longer hair, partly to cover up my hearing aids. Fortunately at the moment I haven't actually got any hearing aids in so it sounds a bit strange and that's because I've got a bit of a sore ear at the moment so I'm just trying to stay away from that and just let things heal and then that's just for today. Um, from, working at the, uh, from working at home at the moment I'm on the phone a lot um, so that with hearing aids of it being quite warm with humid sometimes in the inside of my ear it gets a little bit sore and a bit tender so I take my hearing aids out just to give that a bit of recovery but this is all about the cons of having warmer tones in your hair and you know what yeah it's really really annoying I have to admit because the last thing I want is that sort of real glowy sort of warm brassy almost forgive me for saying it gingery tone in my hair and it's really quite horrible it's not necessarily a look I like um, of course it suits many people for me it does not suit me at all um, and I don't like it and partly it's just because I really like to have dark hair um, when I do my 1920s inspired look, when it's slightly lighter at the sides, it doesn't quite look the same as when I've got my real nice darker colour hair. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a grumble, not that great. Is there any products out there to sort of deal with this? 
I'm not sure I don't really want to dabble with just getting rid of the brassiness. To be honest with you, I just want to get rid of it all. Um, I'd like quite a lot cut off, to be honest with you, but unfortunately it's quite a few more weeks before any barbers or any sort of anywhere who can actually cut my hair is even open. Um, so yes, I can cut hair and I do my sides, but the length, I just have tried it over and over and over and I cannot cannot master the talent of holding a mirror even if somebody holds the mirror behind me holding up the hair with the scissors I'm there literally here 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 everywhere but just not on the actual hair so it's really quite annoying and I just know that I wouldn't get the cut right at the back so what we're just doing is we're just trying to explore with a lot more volume styles and having a lot of length up on one side creating that volume on the side really just creating that sort of swoop so as you can probably see I've got the hair way up high today and then we've got a swoop almost literally right the way back around to the side of my head again it's just one of those things but of course if that's all we had to worry about in this situation with all these horrific things happening in the coronavirus wouldn't it be an absolutely amazing life um, and of course my heart does go out to all of those people and all of those families who have been affected by this awful awful pandemic of coronavirus um, and and yes, absolutely, it um, really is a horrific time for so many people. And actually, when you look on it, you can't never say really going back to normal. It's just a whole new normal, isn't it? And it's just horrible. Um, and it will be nice to get some normality back. And this is just a little bit of a little bit of a light-hearted clip. But um, I don't want it overlooked that just throughout this this pandemic people have just sort of been concerning about the hair or whatever and i'm just complaining about the color or the warmth coming back in my hair from the sun um that's not what i'm trying to do here at all so please please do not think that at all my very warm can wishes and love and condolences go out to those people who have been affected by this absolutely awful virus Getting back to what my clip is all about today. So what do I usually do when I have those warmer tones come in my head? You know, it happens every year. Here in the summer, my hair gets warmer. Very often I just put up with it, but because I've got so much longer hair, it literally, at the bottom, it's just getting so warm. As you can see here, it's just really, really warming up. And it's gone quite light, which I'm not so keen on. I have to admit, as I say, I do like darker hair. Same thing happens with my twin brother, but however, his doesn't happen up here. He's got, seems to have more of an ashy colour in his hair. And when I say that, not so much warmth. He's got very neutral sort of tones. It's just brown. Whereas me, when I hair, my hair grows, it seems to come quite warm through with the sun. Um, if it's not there, just fine, like a real nice light brown. But if I go abroad, it lightens up completely different, like a really, really nice light tone in my hair. No warm colours at all. But here in this country, it seems to, I don't know why that is, it seems to have so much more of a warmth in it. My brother gets the same thing, but in his facial hair, I don't ever grow a beard. He does. And under here, it gets really quite warm. If he lets it go so far, it gets really warm in colour. So then eventually what he does is he just shaves it off. So what I do if it gets really, really warm, I get it cut. And of course, not being able to get that cut, you can see it's just so much more of a lighter brown. It's not horrible, but it just doesn't suit me. And to be honest, when I look in the mirror, my nan, bless her heart, who I'm so, so close to, has a really very, she's 94, but she never has grey hair. And she has a very auburn, golden tone in her hair i looked in the mirror this morning i thought to myself wow that looks like nan's color and not that that's an issue but i would sooner not have the same hair color as that just on a light-hearted moment so that's just my cons of having warmer tones in your hair I wonder what you do about it if it happens to you i'm sure it happens to some people my oldest brother it happens to his hair as well what does he do just cuts it all off gets rid of it i don't want to do that to mine i may i have been looking at online of picking the sort of which is a, a, a sort of a, I don't really want to get into that but to get rid of the warm tones in my hair I wonder what would happen if I just got rid of it and chose a darker colour would it look like I'd stuck my head into a jar of boot polish as in just don't know what I mean <laughs> I think it's about three weeks before I can actually get my hair cut on the top I'm not going to rush I'm liking the length of my hair just not those warm tones Okay, so again, a little bit of a light-hearted clip on here. Please do not take that away from what is going on in our communities at the moment. Stay together, stay strong, stay healthy, and until next time, we will see you then. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.